Some of you have been asking why I have the title dad in my Discord server. The short answer is I have a kid I look out for who thinks I am so old that calling me dad is funny. Here's the honest answer. I grew up in a nonprofit youth foundation that is partnered with a tennis academy. After I graduated from college, I came back to work for that environment as their video guy. Now the purpose of that environment is to take at-risk youth and get them a scholarship to college, whether it be through tennis, academics, or anything else. There are so many other things that happen there that I don't have time to explain them all, so if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. So in my first few months, this Mexican kid was just starting the program. He was super quiet and the first four months, he didn't really say anything. At the beginning, I think he struggled in the new environment. You could tell he really appreciated the opportunities that came with being there, but it was definitely really different from what he was used to since the expectations there are so high. As time went on, he started to improve at everything. He was getting better at tennis and he was becoming a much better version of himself. But he was still really quiet despite the fact that you could see him improving. It's almost like he never really seemed happy with it. Now, I don't remember when this happened, but at some point I started to get closer to him. I think it started because I actually saw how much potential he had when it came to tennis. And I was particularly intrigued because there really are no Mexican tennis players. So it was very unique. So as we got closer, we started talking about his life, what he struggled with and what he wanted to do in the future. And eventually he really started opening up about what bugged him. And it became pretty apparent to me why he was so quiet. I'm not gonna go into detail because that's his business, but I definitely got a lot more respect for him um, when I found out what he was dealing with. So fast forward two years of his hard work, willingness to not give up, and all of the time and effort put in by everyone at that foundation and the tennis academy, he is now ranked top 20 in the United States for national junior tennis, and he is getting a full scholarship to an Ivy League school, where he is going to be playing on their Division I tennis team. Now, let's get this straight. I don't claim any success for this kid. He worked harder than almost anyone I have ever seen go through that environment because I think he really understands um, the value of life. The one thing I will say is that I am pretty close to him and it has been very inspiring to watch him these last two years. Because when I think about all of the times that he could have quit, and I think about all of the times that most people do quit. And I think about all the times that he just like looked at that adversity. And he was just like, no, fuck <laughs> that. I'm, I'm gonna be better than that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna become whatever I'm supposed to become. <sighs> no one deserves his success more than he does. So, it is his 18th birthday tomorrow. <laughs> and a few months ago, he actually knows that, you know, I have this YouTube channel. And a few months ago, he asked if he could buy a computer from me. And while I was trying to sell the computer that I built for the tutorial on how to build a computer, someone actually reached out to me asking if I would make a trade for an extremely nice laptop. This laptop costs like a thousand dollars and the computer that I built for the tutorial cost me like 250. It wouldn't be a Christopher E video if I didn't get a deal. So this is what happened. Here it is. Yeah, thank you, appreciate it. What's up? Are you a YouTuber? Okay, so, do you want to check out the inside first? Yeah, sure, sure, okay. Are you a gamer? 
buy parts and stuff like that. I could just buy the GP if I wanted to. And it's kind of learning. Makes sense. Yeah. This is a good learning computer. Yeah. Right here. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> I feel you. I've, I've definitely bought broken stuff. Alright, thank, thank you. guys so much. Asus Gaming Notebook PC. Looks good. So the family I just met with was really cool. Uh, I really don't expect there to be anything wrong with the laptop. I checked it out as well as I could just now. And uh, it's in pretty good condition. I mean, there are no scratches on that thing at all. Like not even a nick. So I really think I made the better of that trade. Well, you know, they don't know how much I paid for everything. But uh, it's a really nice laptop. So let's see if we can get a hold of a birthday boy and uh, surprise him. Um, sit boy. So, um, I am, I'm very proud of you for getting to college and obviously that, I mean, at a certain point, once your tennis got to a certain level, kind of expected it. Um, but I am even more proud of, let me turn this shit off. I'm even more proud of who you've become. Um, I know obviously there's still a lot more for you to become like the peak performance, I guess, person that you're gonna be because it's not all about tennis. But I think that the fact that you made tennis work so well for you is because of the fact that you made certain choices that very few people make. And the fact that you came to me for some things and had, I guess, more of a personal connection with me because I felt it a lot with you. Made me very, very happy and very proud. And I guess I attached too much to what you were doing, but I was very, always very happy to see how well you were doing all the time. So you asked me um, if I could build you a computer. Um, and I thought about it, and since I knew that you were going to get into a good school, which was not going to be in Nevada, um, I thought that a computer didn't make the most sense. So what I did was I built a computer and then I traded it for this. Happy birthday slash good job in getting into college. I'm very proud of you. Good job. Now, this is a gaming laptop, but it's weaker on the gaming side and excellent for everything else. Well, not really. It's actually just pretty much an amazing laptop. It's been factory reset. Um, ugh. It opens up this way. <laughs> but, uh, Got a nice design. It's a little bit large, um, and hopefully that doesn't bother you too much to anything. But it's—I promise you, this thing's very powerful. It turns on and off very fast. I—I I know you don't understand how computers work, um, but I can promise you that this is pretty top of the line. Um, charger is over here. But yeah, it's pretty solid. It's very future-proof. Um, this thing should last you minimum five years longer, I think, but it's, it's a very good laptop. So I know you already have one, um, but this is a lot better. <laughs> so yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't need to have come up with any of the words or anything like that. I, 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 I did this for me. I wanted to give it to you. So thank you. Of course. It should definitely be more than enough for college. More than enough, but it's, 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 def it's good. Oh, wait, one more thing. I, I hate um, key, uh, laptop mouse pads. G502, this is a pretty good mouse. You physique. So, I almost didn't give that to you, I almost forgot. <laughs> but yeah, so, that's everything, man. 
and I will see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock for your birthday, right? Yeah. Uh, do you have the address? Yeah, you texted it to me. That was sweet. He, you know, he started like... Yeah, we're sweet? Yeah, he was like tearing up. And that's the end of the video. So uh, I hope you guys found this uh, entertaining or informative in any way, shape, or form. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and uh, happy birthday, man.